To me, dance, you can't really talk about it, you have to like look at it. I was never that good of a dancer. My dancers have always been better than me, I think. And when I moved from dance, which I love, to choreography, I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I, mean, I, I only work with certain people and ask them if they want to. Okay, do you mind being covered in sand? She was like, that was so much fun. And she's like, I'm covered in sand. Like, That's who I like to work with. It says, and now, of course, people like my work a lot, but they didn't always. They're like, what are you doing? And why? I mean, it's caused a lot of havoc in my life in terms of certain personal things and money and everything because I just kind of kept doing it. So I can't necessarily say it's that logical or helpful for your life. I'm like, it didn't stop me. I just like being outside. I remember in high school, it was like I could take the dance class in the studio or be outside on the track. And as much as I love dance, I picked the track because I just wanted to be outside. I'm just like, between me and nature, I'm just like a conduit for the natural world. It feels good that that's my job. eternal flame inside you and it doesn't really matter what other people think about it it's something inside you it's like you have to guard that no one's gonna do it for you the, no one in the universe knows what you want to do but you if you've been given a gift or even if you haven't to like try for the gift sometimes I mean people have talent sometimes they don't and sometimes just working at something you find the talent because you just do the work and see what happens who knows why anyone does anything and what we're here to do and why we do it, right? I think you can't take other people's opinions that seriously, you know? And I think if you let yourself be wild and true and come out, your flower is going to be how it's meant to be. And how could it not be beautiful?